This year I myself have tried to focus on tidying up and refining my overall look and appearance. What I'm really starting to learn is that looking stylish or just put together is all in the detailing. So that's what I've really been focusing on this year and wanted to share like the points with you of that process that I think is most important. When it comes to looking our best, so much of our time and energy is spent on shopping and buying new stuff and you know it makes a lot of sense because it is from shopping and chasing the next thing that we get that dopamine high so we get caught in the cycle of doing this but to truly look good we have to nurture what we already have above all we are going to get all across the board but I do want to start with clothes first so my first point to looking polished is having outfit formulas or default outfits I know that style is also a lot about expressing yourself and creativity but I think for a lot of us there is no true need in looking super interesting if we could just look put together and polished for a lot of the time and for that I like to always have some outfit defaults handy when I don't really know what to wear that's usually when I end up in an outfit that I don't truly adore or a like so to prevent that from happening I have a, a couple of outfits on hand already that I know I can always reach for and they're gonna be different to everyone but for me it is something like a black turtleneck and a black skirt to go with it leaning closely on that is also something like a black knit dress or any type of other dress sometimes I'll cinch it in at the waist with a belt then I also like to wear a pair of nice fitting jeans I I like a very high waist and a straight leg and then pair it with a button up shirt. That can be a crisp white cotton shirt or it can be something like a heavier silky shirt. Usually heavier silk is less likely to crease. I like to make these sort of go-to outfits out of very low maintenance pieces. That basically means something that barely needs to be taken care of at all. You know those type of pieces that don't attract animal hair. Doesn't really need to be steamed before you leave. Those things that look neat and clean without too much maintenance. Having these outfit on hands that needs no taken care of is just so helpful. So the next thing I have been focusing on this year is about my jewelry and it is tarnish free jewelry. I already have some nice pieces as part of my jewelry collection but I also have a tendency to add custom jewelry and after a while it will start to tarnish. It might not seem like a big deal but it really is in all these details that whether you look pulled together or not come together. Tarnish jewelry is exactly a one of those small things. Getting something that doesn't tarnish us does not have to break the bank. You can get some really, really nice pieces that aren't too expensive from brands like Monica Venator and Majuri. I recently added a bunch of earrings and a couple of chains from Hey Harper. That isn't fine jewelry, but it is still marketed as a tarnish free. And as someone who wears a bunch of hoop earrings, I feel like I was always buying them and then watching them tarnish. And then at some point, you know, I'd throw them out and get a new pair. And I just wanted to stop being part of that process as much as possible and get a bunch of things that doesn't tarnish because when things start to tarnish if you like it you know you'll still wear it a little bit and that's when it's basically going to more or less pollute your entire look at least to that small degree which may seem insignificant but again it is those details that makes a difference and you don't have to start by you know throwing out all of the jewelry you have that is custom jewelry but what I did is that I found some tarnish free pieces to begin with for those items that I wear basically every single day so that at least I don't have to worry about those. The next thing I've really been trying to focus on this year to look overall more put together and polished is keeping my lips moist. I think something I really learned and believe this year is that looking good what comes above all is looking clean and healthy and having dry lips is one of those things that really does not look healthy we can be so focused on adding new great makeup products to our arsenals and i hope that that's somewhat how we're gonna level up our look but it's really in those small details that are so much simpler that the real difference is made i haven't always been the best at doing that so i really have focused on this year always having a lip gloss with me or just at least a lip balm. Something else I really like to do is to keep a nude lip liner on hand and then I like to just line my own lips to sharpen and define my 
lip line. Because it is in a nude and you throw a gloss or a balm on top of it, people won't really be able to tell what it is you've done. You will just look a little bit more polished. People enjoy and appreciate different aesthetics and for a lot of it I enjoy something that looks rather polished but still kind of natural and I think wearing a lip liner in your perfect nude sort of is the perfect version of that. The next thing I like to do to look polished, put together, is to keep clean eyebrows. This is another one of those things where again, it's all in the details. It doesn't really matter how stylish you otherwise look if your eyebrows are unkept. I like to keep my eyebrows waxed. It's one of those things that I think is so important to prioritize because when you keep a well-kept, well-waxed, tinted eyebrow, you also save time every day not having to fill in your eyebrows. It's one of those things that even if people don't know exactly what it is that looks different about you, having natural well-kept eyebrows is just going to look overall more pulled together. The next thing I've really been focusing on myself this year to look more polished and put together is my nails. I have unbelievably brittle and weak nails. I've had so all my life and they break so easily. I lived with nails that were sort of chipped and ugly, not really well kept and nice looking for almost all of my life. I didn't really want to prioritize getting my nails done, but I really sort of had to start looking at my own advice and abide by my own rule and realize that for me, the next step would be having better looking nails. So now I'm getting acrylics and I'm getting something that is as neutral as possible so that as they grow out, they still look as natural as possible so that I don't have to go and get them filled up too often because it is not something I would have liked to prioritize. It really is all about that clean, healthy look and nails and hands is such a huge point to that and it took me a little bit of a while to get on board on that journey myself. The next thing I focus on this year to tidy up and just overall look more polished is my hair. Again, here it comes in that health is the thing that looks good above all. It's not even the color or the style. Above everything else I can do to my hair, it needs to look like it's freshly chopped or at the very least not like I really need a haircut. Of course, it's also about nurturing your hair. Things I've done this year to help my own hair is I use the Olaplex bonding mask, the number three. I use it about once a month and then I'll leave it in for hours. I bought a turban twister so that my hair can dry mostly in that and it's quite kind of easy on the hair. I did take a big plunge and invested in the Dyson Airwrap this year. For a dryer slash heat tool, it's pretty easy on the hair. So I thought overall, you know, it's gonna make my hair look better and healthier when I do want to use a heat tool on it. And I absolutely love it. I do use it every day. It's not like I have like the blow effect all the time, but I still think my hair looks a lot better than it did with the tools I was using before. And then of course, overall, it is just easier on the hair. Then I use, of course, heat protection before. That's also the Olaplex one to just make it look shinier and healthier overall. Like I mentioned, so much of our energy is spent on thinking about new things to add and do and buy. And overall, we're probably better off trying to make the best out of nurturing so that we can look healthy and clean with the things that we already have. If you like this video, please give it a like so that I know and also consider watching of one of these two videos that you two think you might like from me and I will see you in the next video.